In this video, I want to discuss about the PhD scholarship amount in Ireland in general and is it sufficient to live in Ireland with that scholarship or not. So the first thing I want to uh, inform is that the amount of scholarship uh, may vary between somewhere between uh, 1400 euro to 1500 euro per month across the all the universities in Ireland and specifically depends on who is the scholarship provider the funding agency if your funding agency is generally science foundation Ireland then you can be 100 percent sure that it is going to be 1500 uh, euro per month and the scholarship is uh, tax free uh, so you don't have to pay any taxes on uh, on top of uh, your scholarship so um, yeah so so it depends on your your situation uh, your background and how you spend uh, your life a lot and also uh, in which university you are a phd student that also depends because based on your university uh, it, uh, it will be in Dublin or it will be in Galway, it will be in Cork, it will be in Sligo or I mean there are like 10 to 11 universities in Ireland and in Ireland you have 26 different uh, counties. So uh, it depends on where is your university and where you are staying. And another factor is that uh, whether you are uh, living in Ireland alone or with your family uh, that also a huge uh, matter about uh, how you spend how you spend your uh, 1500 euro per month so the significant uh, amount of uh, your scholarship will be uh, going away for the renting purpose that's the that's the uh, terrible things in ireland at the moment so the rent has increased a lot but uh, uh, the scholarship amount has not yet increased to be honest for example uh, i was on a 1500 euro per month scholarship for the four years uh, from 2018 uh, october to 2022 september so uh, i was in dublin and uh, another thing is for the first two years of my phd i was alone so i had not much problem uh, to cope up with this 1500 euro per month scholarship but uh, after two years of uh, my phd my uh, i would not say two years i'd say one and a half years more or less between one and a half and two years my wife uh, came to ireland as a dependent visa depend on a dependent visa so in ireland only phd student in my previous video i told that in ireland phd <coughs> phd is regarded uh, as a sort of not worker they are regarded as a phd as regarded as they are a student on the other hand on in other european countries phd students are are regarded as a sort of worker status and they give that worker uh, work visa and so on but in ireland if you come as a phd it will you will have to apply for a student visa at the same uh, the with this with the people who are coming for master study they the master student and the phd student they get the same sort of visas visa stamp and visa status and also the same sort of right for example master students get 20 hours a week work permit and the PhD student also gets the 20 hours um, per week work permit. So yeah, so I, as, I, I, as I was saying that uh, it depends on uh, where you are staying uh, and whether you have come alone or with your family. If you come with your family uh, and uh, just to let you know that your dependent uh, wife will not be allowed to work if she comes uh, if she comes with you uh, in ireland in a, on a dependent visa that means let's say you are a phd student and you in, you you invite uh, her 
to bring her in Ireland for a long term uh, on a long term visa as your dependent then she cannot work in Ireland so that's the that's the very much uh, crippling condition for the PhD students wives in Ireland so uh, so so in, in in that case it is very very difficult uh, to stay to live in Ireland within the 1500 euro for the two person because I believe if you do also on your research if you do not believe my words then in Dublin places like Dublin Galway and Cork uh, 1500 euro more than 1500 euro goes for a rent for the one bedroom apartment just a one bedroom apartment it is on an average nowadays in Galway Cork and Dublin it's like s between 16 to 1800 euro only for only the rent all right so uh, and uh, and and on the on the top of your rent you have your electricity you have your uh, groceries you have transportation you have clothing and medicines and so on so if you are planning to come Ireland for a PhD with your family you really have to give a deep thought on uh, how you can how, how you uh, uh, how you will manage uh, your life within 1500 euro per month if your wife can get a job on her own and uh, uh, and get an independent visa status then that is a different thing but if your wife is completely dependent on your PhD scholarship or you are completely dependent on your PhD scholarship income or on, 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 on you then uh, then it is uh, very much difficult for uh, counties like Dublin Galway Cork and more or less any other other part of this uh, of this country's country um, yeah, but still other counties like Sligo and uh, other where, where I stay, it's still the rent is cheaper than Dublin, Cork and Galway. But uh, I think I have no idea uh, on the other 24 counties, uh, but it should it should be the same uh, or very less different difference. Uh, so moral of the story is if you are coming with your family, uh, uh, a, as a PhD student and your family is dependent on you, 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 you will be in big trouble uh, unless you have a lot of uh, support from your family or whatever. Uh, so if, you, if your family will be dependent only on the PhD scholarship, it will be very, very difficult. Uh, so uh, yeah, so that's it. Uh, so and you are, will be given 20 hours work permit that is also true so if you uh, if you can manage to work 20 hours a week uh, uh, i assume that as a phd student you will have a lot of uh, study pressure and research work pressure uh, so uh, it will be very difficult to maintain a part-time work alongside you with your PhD if you can do that's great for example I I did not uh, I was not able to do any part-time job for the first three years of my PhD uh, because uh, of sort of uh, going to university had, a, had to do a lot of mandatory course modules and so on so it was not possible at least for me uh, but uh, yeah so if you can work uh, 20 hours then then uh, I, at the moment uh, per hour working uh, uh, you will get like 11 euro or something so if, if I assume that you are getting 20 hours a week then uh, it will be 220 euro so that means another 800 euro per month you can uh, earn uh, as a PhD student if you work uh, 20 hours a week but uh, if you cannot work based on the fact that you you will have a lot of engagement in your phd full-time phd study 
then it is very much difficult uh, to uh, man- manage a family but if you are coming alone then 1500 euro will be just just fine uh, because uh, you can uh, rent a shared accommodation and that will be around 700 to 800 or 900 euro per month and then rest of the uh, money you can spend for uh, groceries and transportation and clothing and medicines and whatever so but the more the thing is uh, 1500 euro based on the current situation economic conditions in ireland and renting situation in ireland it is not enough money at all uh, but uh, so yeah so that's the thing i i wanted to share in this video and uh, in the next video i'll share uh, what's the postdoc salary in ireland and uh, and in detail so thank you very much